In 2020, I was lucky enough to ride an incredible 11 new roller coasters. One was on its opening day, and the rest were ridden by me for the first time in the same trip. Despite how crazy and unpredictable this year has been, I've managed to ride a few more of my UK bucket list coasters. In this video, I'm going to rank every single one of those 11 new credits I was able to get in 2020. Number 11 is my 90th roller coaster credit, but my least favourite on this list. It's Family Star at Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach, a Fabry spinning coaster. After riding Rock and Roller at Bottoms Pleasure Beach, I wasn't really expecting much. However, Family Star was a lot more bearable than its clone in Skegness, but I'm still not a fan of that model of ride. Number 10 is Big Apple at Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach. It's a wacky worm, so I don't really know what else to say about it. Packed with airtime and a really enjoyable ride experience. Whirlwind at Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach was my first SBF spinning roller coaster, and it was decent. It does look like there are better SBF spinners out there, but this was a fun ride. At number 8, we have Duplo Dino Coaster. Legoland's new roller coaster that I managed to ride on opening day. Very nice and well themed, and it does what it's supposed to do, which is to be that first roller coaster for kids. Next up is Spook Express at Joyland in Great Yarmouth. Another fun kiddie coaster. It kind of just goes around in circles and has a tiny dark section as well. A lot of fun. Moving over to Pleasurewood Hills at number 6 we have Marble Madness. A wild mouse that was relocated from Flamingo Land in 2014. It's a wild mouse. I enjoyed it. Moving on to number 5. Cannonball Express is another solid family coaster at Pledgewood Hills. Glad we went on it first though, because the throughput isn't great. At number 4 is Express. This excellent Sierra Tivoli coaster was a lot of fun, but sometimes uncomfortable with those laterals. At number 3, we have the world's only remaining Virginia reel that is entirely in tub twist at Joyland in Great Yarmouth. The heritage was amazing to ride, and I really enjoyed the coaster itself. Plenty of decent spinning on there. I'm going to be honest, this top two could have gone either way. But for number two, I have chosen Roller Coaster. Which one? The wooden roller coaster at Great Yarmouth Pledge Beach called Roller Coaster. This classic roller coaster is suitable for everyone to ride, from very young children to all the guests that visit Great Yarmouth. This ride is at best on the back row and provides some brilliant airtime throughout the ride. It's also visually impressive from off rides as well. Making it to my number one spot, it's Wipeout. It's a Vacoma boomerang. These can be found here, there and everywhere you look. But it was my first ride on one and it was really intense. I absolutely loved my rides on Wipeout. At the end of the ride, you really do wonder what just happened. Amazing experience. Loved it. And these things probably only get hated on so much because there are so many of them. There we go then. Every new credit of 2020 ranked. Have you ridden these? How would you rank them? Let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and be sure to like and subscribe if you did. And I'll see you all next time.